why I'm doing all of these weird things with my hands. I never do this. It's probably the pre-workout. I started drinking my pre-workout way too early. <laughs> Fitzbos who's like, oh my god, I'm always so motivated to go to the gym. Um, are there people out there like that? I don't know. I don't follow a lot of people on social media. Um, but that's like the aura that they give off and like it's just easy to like go to the gym for them sometimes. Um, which like if that's the case, great, good for you. But we all have those days that like you just don't want to do it. And like I'm there right now and I've been there for the past three weeks. So Sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's two days, sometimes it's an entire freaking season of life, and I'm just in it right now. I'm currently... Let's see, by the time this video is posted, I'll probably be 12 weeks out. Oh no, this lighting though. What happened? We're just gonna roll with it, even though the sun is just doing its thing. I'm in this like whole shebang spiel, this whole thing whatever you want to call it um and it's just like not easy to get out of the house and like go to the gym so i teach fitness classes to pre and postnatal women through a company called fit for mom great company if you have young children if you want to work out with them um highly recommend however i don't get to work out during those times um and even if i go to like a tuesday morning class like i did today um i just like don't get a great workout <laughs> like it's a nice warm-up it's just a different style of working out and if I had the mental capacity to like push myself from like a hit workout standpoint I think it would be great it would be awesome um, but I just I don't have that right now I don't know if I'll ever have that um, maybe in high school I had that but like will I ever get that back probably not who knows maybe I will I don't have high hopes going to the gym now I talked a little bit on my Instagram. I don't know why I'm doing all of these weird things with my hands. I never do this. It's probably the pre-workout. I started drinking my pre-workout way too early. I started having these really bad afternoon crashes. Um, and the past couple videos that I posted, I've been drinking bulletproof coffee. I've been drinking bulletproof coffee in the morning for like probably two months. So my caffeine intake has been on the higher side. I don't know if that's why I'm having afternoon crashes. So today I didn't drink any coffee and I am drinking a non-stim pre-workout. You guys are about to fly off my dashboard. I hope you enjoy the ride. Now that we got that over with. Um, so yeah, it's gonna happen again. Um, I didn't feel as heavy of a crash today, but it was like it came at the same time and like felt similar, but it didn't. So yeah, I, I don't even know where I was. Um, another thing, I'll just start over. 12, around noon, around noon 30. Um, it happens within that same time frame like every day and it's really bad. Like I'll go to put her down for a nap and sometimes I'm just like done and I'll lay next to her in our bed and we'll pass out for like two hours. Um, so like that's great on days where I don't have things to do, but at the same time our living space is a complete disaster because I can't function like a normal human. So, and I really enjoy waking up to a caffeinated warm beverage in the morning, especially since it's so freaking cold out. I live in Chicago. I didn't have that today. I had a giant bottle of BCAAs instead. Um, and then now going into my workout, my actual workout, um, I'm drinking non-stim pre-workout with the Pumpocalypse from Bucked Up. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna go lift some chest and shoulders. See you guys in there. Yeah. 